Alright, so I want to move on to eye brushes because I have a lot of those. Okay, so they're both to be supposed to be used as an um, eyeshadow brush. And how you would use this brush is um, you would get your eyeshadow and you would just pack on the color to the brush and you just apply it all over your lid. So that's what's good about these brushes. Every kit would have one of these. Um, this, these two I got with uh, the Eco Tools set and you can get them from Walgreens or your local drugstore. I got it from Walgreens, um, CVS, Rite Aid. Um, this one I've had since high school. And I love this brush because it's the softest um, eyeshadow brush I have. And it just says all over lid. <laughs> um, I don't remember where I got this, but um, I really like it. It's really soft and it's um, bigger than my other eyeshadow brushes. So I really like this one for blend blending out harsh lines, um, harsh eyeshadow that you may have. So I really like this one. It's really large and it's um, very very soft. This one I got from e.l.f. and um, this one is their eyeshadow brush. Duh. <laughs> um, you can see it's a shorter, um, it has shorter bristles and what I like that for is because you can get into your crease very well and um, it also helps with packing on the color to your eye. So that is why I like this brush. Um, and again, I think it was like a dollar. This one, as well as the ones I showed you before, actually all the ones that I have with the magenta or purple, um, um, these brushes I got, it says Artistic Cosmetics. Um, you can probably Google them, but um, I don't think they're on eBay anymore. So um, I like this one because it's synthetic fibers. Um, it's really dirty right now, so I'm sorry about that. But um, it's synthetic fibers, and I like that because it could pack on um, minerals really good to the eye. So that is why I like that brush. Next up is the crease brushes. And I have two of those. I have two crease brushes. Um, this one is, says Face Logic. I also got on eBay. And this one you can get on CoastalSense.com. Not sure of the prices, but it was probably under five bucks. So, um, this one is my favorite because it's a wooden, it has a wooden handle. And um, it's very sturdy. And these brushes, you can see how they go up to a tapered point at the end. And um, these brushes are good for getting color right in the crease. Right there in the crease. They're perfect for that. So that's what they're for. Okay, the next brushes I'm going to be talking about are um, blending brushes. This one is an e.l.f. blending brush. This one is from Equal Tools. This one is also from Equal Tools. It's larger than the other ones. And this one I got online. Um, you could just put on, um, go to eBay or um, on Google and Google um, blending brushes or uh, fluffy brushes. Um, my favorite out of these would have to be my e.l.f. And um, what these brushes do is when you have a harsh line, you would get into that area and you would um, do circle motions um, and blend the color out, the harsh lines out. And it gives you um, a softer kind of look. Um, these also go into a tapered um, point. Um, not as harsh as these, um, not as small as these, which would be to um, 
place the color where you want it, this would be to um, blend it. This would be to blend it. Now, um, the two equal tools ones I have, um, I don't know why um, one, well this one came with the mini set. I don't remember where this one came from, but um, it does say blending brush. Oh, actually, this one says highlight, but I use it as a blending brush. You can see they're similar. Um, this one is really big. It's about half inch or an inch. I can't tell. Yeah, about like half inch. And it's really, really soft at the end. And this one is just so perfect because um, it's shorter than the e.l.f. brush. And... Um, you get um, a better grip at um, blending out, um, smoking out the color. Okay, so I have five brushes here, and these are all, um, these two are angled, and this one is flat on top, and I like using this one, is by um, Trish McAvoy, and I like using this as a brow brush. I love this brush for using it on my brow and um, packing on the color to my brow. So I really like this one. Um, but um, this one I had since high school. So yeah, these two are angled. And um, this one is synthetic, and this one, I'm not sure what it is. I have a lot of color on that. But um, these two are um, ankle brushes, and you would use this for um, applying liner. You can also use this as a brow brush. These two are from Eco Tools also and I like using these brushes as high precision um, highlighting brushes so um, like this one is very very thin very very thin brush and it goes up to a point and I like using this one for highlighting the outer corner of my eye the inner corner of my eye and um, this one is a little bit wider it looks like a small um, eyeshadow brush it's like a little baby eyeshadow brush and I like using this one for highlighting under my brow bone so that's why I like that one all right next up is um, concealer brushes and these are all three of these are synthetic again I got these as a, I got this one in a set from eBay these two at Claire's um, I like using these for either applying wet eyeshadow for applying mineral eyeshadow and also for um, applying concealer under the eye. Um, and then you have lip brushes. Now I have two of these. I don't really use lip brushes too much. Um, and this one, usually if you're going to apply lipstick on someone else or if you don't want to um, get the lipstick on get the lipstick or the lip gloss on your lips itself with the applicator that they give you gloss applicator or the um, lipstick and you would just grab some product as opposed to just putting it on your lips so um, you save more product with that and you get a precision um, application with um, lip brushes as well. So yeah, I think that's it guys. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me on the comments below and don't forget to check out the description section for pricing and um, a list of all the brushes and where I got them. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!